Oh my gosh. Well, sorry guys. I didn't realize I was playing for like probably 15 minutes in the recording. Um, I just updated OBS and a new thing and I don't know what happened, but it didn't recognize my hotkey to start recording. I didn't notice until now. But hey, the good news is you didn't really miss anything. It was, I think, April or May of 1942, and now it's November, so a few months have gone by. Um, what I'll do is, after this combat, I'll show you basically what, uh, what you've missed. There was, let's see, two battles that um, you didn't get shown, and both of them were de with destroyers. One of them was like the most, it was one single American destroyer doing a convoy raid in on my uh, on my ships I had like 10 destroyers defending um, in Northeast Asia so I don't understand this uh, game decision how they how the battles are picked and I know that I'm not the only person to complain about this but the good news is we just got involved in a fleet battle uh, basically my my new plan was I do still want to move over to the East Coast which is where a lot of American ships are but I thought it'd be a little foolish to sink all of our ships if they ended up not making it back Without first getting some territory, like taking the Philippines, we still have that one holdings there. And I'm, I'm actually, four of my Nihon class are in the North American West Coast with only some destroyers. The reason why I chose this combination, oh, I have to repeat everything, but that's fine. Um, the reason why I chose this combination is because um, I don't think it'll get picked for those cruiser battles where my light cruisers go up against their battle cruisers. Again, that's just, I'm trying to avoid bad game mechanics by doing this. So... I've chosen not to take any light cruisers so we don't get any cruiser battles, or if we do, I know to decline them. And I'm just gonna, I was just waiting for an invasion to happen basically with all, with all my dreadnoughts here. But instead I got a fleet battle and the Americans did not decline it. So you may not, you may have missed what, like seven months, six months, but you didn't miss anything and your, I just happened to notice the recording was <laughs> not happening just in time. So anyways, I will save the save it here just in case something else goes wrong and we'll continue. So this is just the very, very beginning of the battle as you can see. But we have our four Nihon classes here. Notably missing is the Tortuga-san, I'm a little disappointed, but we have the Yamato, the Sepiachipu, uh, Haruna, and uh, Asuroshi. This might be S Supia Chipu. I don't know how to say the accents for that, but I'll probably just call it the the Supia. Okay, so let's pull. Let's uh, let's see what we're up against here. I'm pretty happy with this because I, I think that our dreadnoughts can take down any light cruisers that we might come up against. So I am going to do a lot of the controlling for this, probably, but for now. Let's leave it where it is and just get squad max going. And uh, let's see what we're up against right away. Okay, a light cruiser. I, I'm a little worried for his sake. Let's see if we can't land a few hits. These are my 17 inch guns. They're now act, oh my God. Well, that is, uh, that's a very promising start to this engagement. I'm sure that that ship is now lost. It just took about, even if you account for a bit of over-reporting, this is about eight hits, maybe five to eight hits with the 17-inch shells. If even like two or three of those landed solidly, that ship's a goner. So hopefully we can start targeting the other one. We're going to pursue her, and we spotted an unknown ship. Now they have the wind side, but there's an island here we can use to our advantage. So let's move towards the island and see if we can invoke some some weirdness. Oh, is this just another screen? They might also be launching torpedoes, so let me actually make my run head on, which will lower my profile. And I'm going to slow down to 22 just to make sure my Osiroshi can get back into formation. Oh, it's going to be one of those nighttime fights. Well, you know what? We have really heavy duty ships. We have our, what are our destroyers doing? My god, get back up there. Let's send them out to scout. Can they? No. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess I can control them manually. No, actually, stay in screen mode and I'll just control you manually. Manually. And we'll, we'll see if I can get this to work. 
We're actually hitting that ship. That's <laughs> I feel bad for them. Just a few hits and they're going to be goners. Like this ship is, I'm not worried about it. It took so many 17 inch, 17 inch hits. There's no way that thing is going to survive. And you are, please support, not core. What are you thinking? Okay, we need these guys to get in front. Okay, they hit and the turret top was hit. We have very good turret top on this. I think it's five or six. So I'm not too worried about that. I don't think their um, guns can penetrate, but we have this other unidentified ship and that could be something more interesting. No, it's just another light cruiser. So let's just keep tracking this thing down. It's going slow enough that I bet it already took a lot of damage. Okay, or, or we might have a few supposed fuel issues just because, okay, how are you doing? Yeah, I know you took that hit. Oh wow, your max speed already down to 29. Well, that's, oh my god, come on. How are they hitting us so easily and we are not hitting them? <laughs> come on guys, 17 inch hit, that's, that's better. That's what I was expecting. I need my screens to lead though. That's what they're there to do, to scout for us. So we'll keep pushing. And we know that this is the scouting force, but hey, if we can mow all these down, I'm quite happy that we didn't take any light cruisers. <laughs> they are completely unnecessary. And still they're getting a few hits. It's just a, a bit frustrating. <laughs> okay, yeah, that one's obviously sinking, guys. Let's, uh, let's switch targets. If you would, please. Um, we might as well pursue this last known course of this one and just see if we get lucky hitting something. Okay, if we run into them, you know what, it's just fine. Why are these guys so far back though? Because I will just um, do the deploy the fleet into a torpedo formation. And we'll probably chase these guys all the way back up the coast. We'll see if we catch them. I'm pretty sure I have pause if identified on. Yeah. Okay, so if we spot anything, we will. it will be reported. Um, I don't know where they're going. What the hell are you guys doing? There it is. Okay, let's slow down a little bit just to preserve. I don't know what I'm preserving by slowing down. I don't think it matters for engines actually, now that we're all, we're all oil burning. Okay, but it doesn't look like it's gonna really matter. We've done our tour of Dutch Harbor and that's it. Oh my gosh, so the Supia Chipu is now probably not going to be... Oh, it only took light damage, is that... They had some ships around here. Darn it, we just somehow missed them. And I would have loved to have taken these guys on. Oh man, nine and a half inch, but that is not... We could definitely take that thing. Still, we got a few ships. Did she take damage? Damn it, she did. Uh, she's probably out of the. Uh, she's probably out for the war now. Well, let's try to get some other Nihons back. Let's take you, move you over, keep cycling. I do want to get some invasions going before we leave. So you know what? To that point, well, all but one of them is there, so or will be there. So I, I don't know if we can do anything better than that. Should we get the Takedas over there? I don't think so. I don't want to put too many shifts just because it's such a hassle to keep moving them back and forth. So, what about getting some more kamikazes? Sorry if there's outside noise. But I won't re-record. I won't do it. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Probably enough destroyers, and I don't. I really want to see what happens with this Piachipu. Oh, I forgot to move my AMCs. Okay, let me remember to do that. Okay, coastal raid. 65. I'm going to decline that because it looked like too few victory points to be worthwhile. Now we have one. Uh, oh, okay, it moved over. It moved over. That's nice. I think somebody was trying to explain to me the mechanics, but I don't. I still didn't really understand um, that it gets it moves back after the timer 
to your port and has to be rebuilt the same amount of time from there? Is that what happens? Maybe. I don't know. Okay, fair, but you're holding up. Okay, let's... Nope, you're not in good shape. All right, let's get two Fujis to help out. Let's just do it. We're going to need help. Let's call on the Fujis to help us. Um, yeah, and let's leave just the Sagamis. I don't know if that's a good idea, but just the Sagamis guarding our home province. Let's get some of these guys around the world now. Um, let's send... You know what? Let's send all of them over to Europe. Which always has a lot of trade. So it could be very useful. And let's also get all of them onto raiding mode. This can also help deter submarine actions. Okay, yeah, you're moving back, that's good. Okay, let's see what let's see what happens next. Keep losing our <laughs> Okay, this is nice to see. Lots of merchant ships. So this is impossible. There's no cruisers, so I'm going to decline naturally. Because it's obviously cruisers against... See, again, it's obviously my destroyers against their cruisers. I'm not going to accept that. That's silly. My destroyers... Uh, so one of the things I've been talking about this, like especially in the Discord channel and all that, but I really want to do... I really want um, the ability to set your order, your order of battle. Because I don't want my, my fleet... I don't want my destroyers going off and doing convoy attacks. Their role is obviously fleet defense. They shouldn't be going off and getting themselves killed on really silly operations. But there's no, yeah, as of yet, there's no way of controlling that. So it's a little disappointing, but but there's no way around it. So we will just live with it. Now let's go ahead and keep going crazy with these AMCs because they only take four months to build, and I think that they're pretty darn good. <laughs> let's go ahead and get eleven more. Why not? Let's flood the world with uh, armed merchant cruisers. Especially because we haven't used any sneaky tactics so far. The Japanese must be known uh, around the world as a very straight up fighter in terms of Navy. And we're gonna just defy all of that by, I think we built a few submarines, right? No, I didn't build any submarines. Well, you know what, we can change that too. Cause I know that there's at least one person watching who will be happy with that. His name begins with a W and ends in R games. Let's get 20 of them. Nah, let's get 30. Because I think that, uh, as I've said before, whoops, you really have to go big or go home with submarines. They aren't very effective in small numbers. Okay, two submarines sunk. We're sinking some stuff. Uh, nothing happened. Great. Now we have to go through all the song and dance. You know what, I think it's just time to move all the Nihons back for for a short time. Okay, wait. Actually, no. It's just going to be annoying because moving ships is like the most painful thing imaginable in this game. And it really shouldn't be, but it is. So we'll just do it this way. Okay, you're moving home. You're in fair condition, but you're already home. You can stay and you guys can all be there. Good, you're raiding. Probably not necessary to raid. I Maybe I should just bring them all over to um, the west coast. It would increase our, whoops, it would increase our like points there. They don't have anything here. They don't really have anything here. They don't really, where are all their ships? They're all in the Caribbean. They're waiting for my uh, like reported attack. Okay, so anyways, I didn't even show you this AMC. I forgot that I, did, I recorded this, but it didn't. <laughs> if you're looking at it, you're probably wondering what is going on. Let me just design it from scratch, and I won't keep the design, but I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to armed merchant cruisers. Like, I freely have to admit, I have absolutely no idea what a ship like this should be. If you auto-design, it sets it to 2,000, which um, if you want 6-inch guns, and we do, they want you to do 2600. So I was like, okay, we'll do 2600. Also, um, 2500 is the minimum for doing. Where's the submerge mount? They want 2500 to be the minimum. See, there it is. I need 2500 to do the minimum for submerge mounts. 
So let's just grab some submerge mounts all that we can. And then let's get uh, all the center lines at four piece. Let's get, this is crazy, I know, but hear me out. They don't allow you to do three torpedoes per side unless you're like at four or 5,000 tons. So I just did three. Oh wait, we got, I messed, I messed up with one. Which one's this? Ah, here. So it's stupid, but that warning is just saying all we need to do is bring this up to 60, 2600. And it does not care that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six centerline torpedo tubes at five apiece, so 30, plus two, four, six times three, 18. So we have 48 surface mounted torpedoes and that doesn't even count the submerged ones we have, which have three reloads a piece. Then on top of that, I'm gonna clear this turrets. It doesn't allow any center line, even if you just do forward gun, they can't have any center line. So what I did instead is something like this. I think, uh, what, no, one, two, HI, ST34, something like this. Uh, it's Silly, actually I was able to get more turrets in, I don't know why. But somehow I was able to get, yeah, I, I, okay, I'm not trying to add, I'm not trying to add double. Uh, I still had some tonnage left over, so I went with eight triple guns in single turrets. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. The, all the things you can get into a, a very simple armed merchant cruiser. Because that wasn't enough, I got Torpedo Defense 1 and Mines 50. Look, we're still doing okay for 2600. We have 12 rate weight remaining. I don't know if that was went to ammo. Oh, oil. We want oil. Oh, yeah. I wanted reliable and I wanted long range. And so I don't know how I what I actually ended up doing. So that's how I designed the Armor Engine Cruiser. This happened about 10 times faster than it happened when I was designing it first. Maybe that's a good thing that I didn't waste your time. But it's ridiculous. I don't understand how armor merchant cruisers work at all. I know that they are scrapped at the end of the war, so maybe that's why we're getting so many bo bonuses to whatever, but here it is. This is the ship I was able to build for 2,600 tons. It has two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, six inch guns. It has, well, I already counted, right? 48, oh, so this one, oh man. This one's missing out on some guns that I easily could have gotten. I mean, some torpedoes, but it didn't give me the option. I don't understand the how, oh, you can't have the guns and the torpedoes there. Well, I think I'd rather the guns. This thing has, frankly, enough torpedoes as it is. <laughs> so this Harm Merchant Cruiser, I know, I know, I know. And I said this so many times when I was building this, I was just kind of apologizing profusely. It doesn't make any sense. It's an eyesore. It's like, it feels disgusting to build such a ship because it's so unrealistic. But the game mechanics allow it. <laughs> it has 33 above water mounts. I don't even know how they got that. One, two, three, four, five, six times four. Oh, it's 24, not 30, of course. So 24 plus, yeah, I'm still not getting the same number as them. I'm getting 36 and it's counting 33, but it doesn't matter. It has 50 mines, it has 10 six inch guns, it has eight three inch guns. This thing, besides not having armor and going only 17 knots can really almost do it all. So you know what? Yeah, get a million of these. Cancel our submarine production. I don't care about submarines. As soon as we have any um, budget at all, we're just gonna build these armor merchant cruisers and dominate the United States through these. Then once I, I've accrued a huge victory point, or I'm starting to like wear them down to the point where they're gonna lose, like uh, their nation's gonna collapse. I, yeah, this will be an interesting exercise actually to try to make a nation collapse only through armed merchant cruisers. But I will send my fleet over. We are getting, we almost got a good fleet engagement with the Nihons and we'll still try for that. But just to catch you up, now that you're up to speed on the really, really silly AMC situation. So yeah.
Uh, maybe I will send the Chrysamas over. Why not? It is where they belong, and I think that they're fast enough to run away from... Any, uh, battle cruisers? That It's only fair, then, that we really, we really should be bringing some battle cruisers over. Let's bring the Fukuru over by herself. I don't like that, but... We'll get, um, she'll have a buddy next turn. We'll get the Namikato. And I, th I think that's fine. How are we doing? Yeah, I already did all this. Good. We should not let them off light. We shall should not let them get off lightly. Yes. Very good. Okay. <laughs> the Jacob Jones has hit a mine in the North American West Coast and sunk. Okay, fleet battle. Very good. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Oh, okay, this is not good. Very low weather. Well, the Fukuru is in it. Our... Wow, this is... This is going to be a battle. 20 minutes. So it's actually a really good thing that I missed the kind of boring first few battles with destroyers. We're getting uh, pretty lucky. Where is... Oh! They're to our east. Unfortunately, they're on the wind side, which is... Less good for us, but hey, I am really happy when I see this massive group of Dreadnoughts. I... Oh, we even have to lay here. Wow. She's the Fuji. Okay, that's fine. Just fall in. Good. Core to that. Very good. Squad max. Well, we'll take it down to 22 so we can keep the formation a little bit better. Um, I really have to have vision ranges. Okay, vision range is slightly less than gun range, but this is very good visibility. 32,000, how are we doing? Is it early in the day? It is. Oh, this is great. This is it. All right, our pre-battle meditation. Save us, go zero. Against the King Kong that is the United States. Um, do I take these guys off? I think I do. Uh, let's just get them actually to do support line ahead. That'll bring them in quickly. I'm going to just try to control the northern area with the rest of these ships. Same thing with you. I know that this is probably not um, their battle cruisers or anything. It's probably their scouting light cruisers. But I'd rather not lose any ships. So I'm going to do something like this. You're fine. 28, that's right. Unfortunately, we have a pretty abysmal top speed because it's one knot slower than it should be. That's not abysmal, but it's just not what I would have wanted. Yeah, we will race them. Oh, no, we need to race them to the what? To the east. Okay, why? I don't like it when my spacebar doesn't pause. It makes me nervous. Could always click up here. Wait, where is it? There, right there. <laughs> we'll probably even just go click by click here. What are you guys doing? You're screening. They're never very good at screening because they can't uh, preempt your decisions. So it's better when you do the screening yourself. Okay, this might be their battle cruiser. Let's pull back until we can get our Fukuro into position. Yeah, that is probably not what we want to do. See? But she is going to run, if we can pull back enough, she might run right into our big guns. So let's kind of sneak in the south. Will she? She probably spotted us by now. Has she? Well, I, we lost vision, so apparently not. Who are you? Why are you going so slow? 14 torpedoes. We have three and four per side. That's great. Okay, we see them. They're probably going to launch torpedoes, so do a little bit of... No, no. Pursue. Head on. Unknown ship. Okay, this is... I don't know what it is, actually. It could be a battle cruiser, or it could be a light cruiser. Yeah, good. So my Fukuru can take on that thing, no problem. And we'll keep pushing our fleet this way. Good, we're already hitting... We're, we are already hitting with our 16-inch guns. Ah, uh, that's great to see. The Fukuro, the Artakeda class, unloading on their light cruiser. It certainly has the armor to withstand those 6-inch guns. We're moving at this ship to avoid getting torpedoed. 
Just waiting. We're still waiting to find out where is their main fleet. I'm going to get these guys to just go into support mode. You can see why that they are kind of useless in screen mode. Even these guys look to be pretty useless. <laughs> like, what, what is even going on here? Yeah, okay, just support the Korosuro. How about that? What the hell are you guys doing? My god. Well, whatever. Mainly, I only need to worry about the Battlecruiser and the Dreadnoughts. Okay, there they are. Let's just take the wind side right away. Nope, it's a light cruiser, okay. Thought that was somebody coming head on. Okay, then stay your course. Okay, Fukuru, you can have some fun running down these light cruisers. Seems appropriate. Ah, until that happened. There it is. Okay, there's prob there could be two. Wait. Target straddled. Who are you firing at? Oh, wonderful. But we're going to need you to support in the north, northwest. Fukuru's already lined up. That's good. Stay lined up. In fact, push away, because we have really good um, deck armor. We don't want to push this fight close range. So push back. Just stay at the edge of vision. Because that's probably another battlecruiser, and we'd like to fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, good. This is perfect. They're firing at us. They've straddled us. And our dreadnoughts are moving up to support. Oh, apparently I forgot to take them off AI control, or put them on AI control. Now, our Dreadnoughts do have some pretty beefy belt armor. Well, 12 isn't even that amazing, but it's enough that I don't mind getting closer range because I think the advantage it'll give to our 17-inch guns will more than compensate for the increased damage we might take. No, no, no. Actually, keep falling away, Fukuro. We actually need you to keep falling away because we need you in perfect condition uh, to maybe chase down ships, something, anything. So, here we go. Line it up. They're going to have to make a decision very quickly here. The Fukuro is just at the perfect angle to still get. Let's put her just slightly more um, eastward. Still getting off all, almost her full broad. I mean, she is getting off her full broadside. It's amazing. And we are going to intercept their, their ships. So here it is. The Oh my god, this is their Dreadnought line. And in the first blast, the Yamato has knocked out the Arizona's main turret. God help them. Um, 39,000 ton ship, obviously slightly lighter than ours, which is actually not even slightly light, <laughs> lighter. We're at 51,000. This is no laughing matter, oh, despite the laugh I'm giving right now. Well, it, we're on the right side of the... We're, we're on the correct side to be laughing. Another hit. I just don't think that these guys... First of all, we're crossing their T, and they just lost their main gun, the triple turret, in front. All those things kind of spell disaster for this start for the Americans. Um, even our um, Fuji class now is opening up. The Lee, this is my Lei, but it's the Lee that I had to rename to make it a little bit. Oh my god, she lost another turret already. They are taking some serious fire immediately. So the Fukuro can kind of level out now. She can fire at distance. Arizona is trying to pull back. It might already be too late. She is taking 17 inch just craters three more it's likely they've launched torpedoes so what i'm gonna do is pull in towards them which hopefully will discourage further launching i don't know if they'll be able to get a good solution and also hopefully will cause any torpedoes already launched to miss this will furthermore allow us to chase the arizona a little bit longer it's going to kind of take us into the mouth of danger because we're running into the ships which can launch torpedoes but Hopefully our narrow profile will allow us to escape, I don't know, too many torpedo hits. That's the goal. That's the hope, the goal, whatever. All right, so we're turning. We're still destroying this poor Arizona. But it would be really nice to start knocking down some of their um, other ships, like these San Francisco-class ships. Yeah, this ship is a goner. I don't know what these are, though. Unsighted fired some heavy guns, so we do have some kind of heavy guns coming over there. We'll have the Fukuru shift east to support our flank. You know what? I'll even have the Lei also support by shifting right. 
they're, they're just going to circle this area to patrol while um, these dreadnoughts absorb what I'm assuming is going to be a torpedo charge very soon by the light cruisers. And for the time being, I just want to stay head on, even cutting behind them if we can. This is probably their dreadnought. Um, battle cruiser, I mean. Yeah, I think that's actually correct. I don't want to get too far away, so let's have the Lee pull back in. Fukuro split the, split the difference. Okay, if they want to stay with their... Oh, we've already sank another San Francisco class. My god. Okay, now it's time... Ooh! So this ship is firing some heavy tonnage at us. They knocked out one of our guns temporarily. Okay, 16-inch guns. Low armor, though. Okay, then pivot. Pivot. If they only have one dreadnought here, so be it. Pivot north. You're needed. We need it to get rid of these other battle cruisers. Yeah, you go ahead and keep your turn going to the west. And we will begin our... This is very dangerous, obviously. Torpedo-wise, very, very, very dangerous. So let's pull back as much as we can. We did hit another battle cruiser. Let's see what the organ is. So only 15-inch guns. I mean, it's funny when you're talking about only 15-inch guns. Same caliber weapons that the Bismarck was firing. And hey, you know, this was technically 1947. They're probably just as good as the Bismarck guns were, which were, I think, pretty good. Okay, hitting the same old ships, though. We need to change our target of fire to these ships to the north. I think we got some hits on this organ class. It's now only going five knots, which should make it a sitting duck for our shells. Let's find out if they can aim properly. Come on, guys. Okay, they are engaging the correct target, supposedly, even though the red means where they're firing, and they're not firing there. <laughs> huh. Well, only the Fukuro is aiming correctly. There we go. Uh, well, it's the Fukuro. Darn it. But still good. Uh, so this organ has taken another hit. They're going slow, and remember, the slower you're going, the easier a target you are. Yes, I understand that we're killing the Arizona. And it looks like the Haruna is detached, and now the Yamato as well. Yep. Because they uh, weren't able to make the turn. I guess they weren't paying attention. I'm sure that there's some heavy torpedo volleys flying our way. I don't know why the Osurashu, uh, Osurashi has suddenly decided not to be the main ship, the lead ship. But let's let's make this very specific. Please target these battle cruisers. You are doing so correctly. No, don't fire at that anymore. It's better to fire at. Yes, it's better to fire at anything except the ships which are dying. Go for that, I guess. And Haruna says that she's uh, back on target. We'll, we'll find out. Oh, she is. Okay, she did land a hit. Conning Tower hit, but hey, look at that. Tortuga's Conning Tower armor, 16 inches. I was actually to, able to withstand, well, it was only a medium blow, but two hits on the San Francisco class, which is good. Six inch guns though. Still we're getting some hits. And that's the, I don't remember what ship that was, but this is a pretty good one. The Congress class battlecruiser. They're all using 16 inch guns, if not 15. So um, if we can just form our battle line up, it would be, okay, Osirashu was hit by a torpedo. How are we doing? Probably okay. A bit of flooding actually. Where there's one, there might be more. We've been pretty lucky about torpedoes. I imagine the, the water is just crawling with them. And this is where the Fukuru has to be able to track these guys down. So that's what she needs to do. The organ class looks like it's taking some serious hits. Okay, wow. Oh, the Honcho has decided to go in. Or maybe it was the Baka too. It looks like the Baka too. Very, very bold action by our de our destroyers over here. They've t decided to take it in their own hands to eliminate the... Well, they're getting eliminated, really, is what's happening. Uh, the American destroyers. Okay, well, we are landing a few hits, I guess, because I'm still seeing their ships getting slowed down. The Congress is now heavily damaged. 
This is a Lexington. Let me refresh myself. Yeah, it is light armor. I was wondering. So did we get some like serious hits on the... Oregon? Where did the hits on the... Oh, is it just one single hit on the Congress which decided... Which just wrecked it? We shouldn't be too surprised. These are 17 inch shells. <laughs> but still. I think that might have been another one. Two more hits on the Congress class. Wow. That's... I mean, that's devastating. Sepiachu... Uh, Supia Chipu only has her forward guns going anyway, so we're going to go head on. Okay, Fukuru. We're going to actually turn you a little bit more sideways. Like, what are you guys doing? Go, go, get out of here. <laughs> These are bad, bad, bad. Okay, uh, well, let's send the Fuji class over to try to help. Looks like our battle line here is uh, getting fixed back up. We'll have the Fukuru turn back around to assist with this destroyer action in the west as well. Congress is already down. These guys are chasing down the remains of this battlecruiser fleet. We'll stop going head on just because other ships might be able to get involved. Congress definitely sinking. More hits on the Lexington. More on the Oregon. It, it's not a good day for the American fleet. This is a disaster for them. We're losing a few battleships. I mean, uh, destroyers, it's true, but that really just does not stack up to the amount of damage we're doing to them so far. The Honcho's sinking, she got herself killed. Well, you know what? I tried to, t I did not want you going over there. No, no, please and just engage the light cruisers instead. Yeah. You know, just go head on. It'll reduce your profile and the Fugaru is here to help anyway. You guys should not be aiming at that ship. You supposedly are not. But all I see is hits on that Congress. And with the 17-inch guns, too. So it's not that you're aiming your secondaries. Usually the only way to get around that is to uh, keep just push north as fast as you can. That's pretty slow. We'll go 19. I don't care who falls out of line. And okay, good. So we'll have the Fuji class by herself. Okay, good. Now we're aiming at something other than the other ones. Lexington. What is she doing? That is a brave maneuver. Okay, let's go head on to avoid torpedoes. Oh my god, that's a sinking ship. Probably the same here. Yeah. No commentary necessary. I think that the carnage really speaks for itself. We're going to go head on to avoid torpedoes. And the Sepiachu, uh, Supiachipu, I'm going to pronounce that differently every time, I apologize. Uh, she's doing okay. She could take a torpedo if she needs to. Yep. Okay, that's the Fuji being redirected, but the Fukuru can't operate alone. We just want her to stop firing at ships which are already sinking. And I wish these guys, uh, whatever, just. Uh. Congress hit by torpedoes, like that's just not surprising. Lexington going down, Honcho is now sunk. Fuku's in good position though, she can track down some of these light cruisers. Let's, let's do it. How much ammo do you have in the front? Still enough. Okay, good. Then just start tracking them down. Okay, we sunk that Lexington now. I'm just hoping to get this Oregon before she gets away. Let's see if we can target her. Ah, there it is. Let's get her. You know what? Just go squad max. Whatever you can get out of any ship, get it and track this guy down. If we can just get all of them, this will be a huge victory. It already is, but it'll be even bigger. And our Fukuru is doing a fantastic job. Really a fantastic job station that way. A whole fleet, a whole school of uh, little fish. Mostly interested now in what our battle cruiser is doing. Nothing this turn. Nothing again. Come on, Fukuru. 
Don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. What is the speed on these? 30? 32. So they can't get away if they just straight up run. But we should eventually... Hmm. Alright, are we getting any hits on the organ? Can we focus on the organ? I haven't been paying attention. But yeah, you know what your duty is. So just do your duty. Nope. Still nothing. Okay, Lexington hit. Not surprising. Oh my god. Oh my god. Get off the ship. Get off the... Oh my god. Get off the ship. Okay, we are hitting the Congress and Lexington. These are two ships which I don't care to be hitting anymore. <sighs> How's the Fruko doing? Still... Are you hitting anybody yet? No. Not really. Okay, the Osoroshi was hit by a torpedo. Ha! Huh, turned her away. That's unfortunate. Oh. Oh my god, another one. Go ahead and target this CL in front of you. Yeah, that one. Uh, we'll slow you down a whole bunch. You're flooding... How many torpedoes have you hit? Three. Woo! <laughs> That's a few. Still only 72 in flooding, so not too bad, but this is something we should be a little bit more careful about. That Birmingham is getting lit lit up. Six inch guns. Finally another organ hit, which is nice to see. Another one. Yeah, so you should be firing at that ship now. Good. And that is a goner already, so good. Yeah, so now let's slow this guy down to eight even and let's just work on this, who grew. Who also stands a chance of being lost if we're not careful. Okay, that ship is sinking. Can we switch to another? Good. Switch to the next. Okay, that Birmingham is going down. Good job. <laughs> revenge. Oh my gosh. That is some revenge. To pull up alongside and let go with all your secondaries. My god. Get out. Abandon ship. kind of proudly demonstrating that, look, your torpedoes didn't do anything to us. Well, we're going to slow her down a little bit more even, just to make sure that nothing does happen. Looks like the organ's dead in the water. There's another Birmingham class, which we'll have to destroy. Looks like it's still mobile. And then we just wait for the Fukuru to do her work. And this is an amazing success so far. Actually, it's the light cruisers now which are assisting a bit. Um, okay, that was another 16 inch hit. Okay, nah, wrong ship though. That one still might be functional enough to torpedo, so we're gonna do a little zig and zag. I don't think we're gonna be able to get all these guys, but we might as well just get a few. That organ class going down for sure. Where are they retreating to? Oh, there is port. Okay, so you know what we'll do is we will send yeah, actually, we're going to have to disregard these this fleet entirely because we need to protect um, the Osiroshi. So we'll get this fleet down to maybe 12, send them up this way, have the Osiroshi do an intercept course, going very slow. And the rest of these ships are all sunk. So now it's just up to the Fukuro. Fukuro. Oh, okay, that's not good. We do have defense. Ooh, that's... Some pretty good flooding, though. You know, we could still lose the game, or not the game, but the battle if we take too many hits, too. It's conceivable. So let's just try to cross across their wake. Okay, they're definitely turning. That's probably torpedo stuff. Turn in, turn in. Hard rudder starboard. I'm not seeing any hits that every time that comes up now it scares me. Come on, Fukuro. Are you down on front ammo or something? Oh, one of them is disabled. Superimposed still has ammunition for sure. Okay, enough. enough. Stop just getting your patting your scores. That's all you're doing. <laughs> 
Okay, fair enough. We'll just let that one keep going. It's all up to you, Fukuro. Okay, still nothing. I'm getting... No, none of these are the ship I think is hitting. Dreadnoughts have done their job. They cleared that entire area out. We have to be very careful about the Fukuru though. I just remembered we don't want her to take too much damage because if she takes like more than light damage, um, we might lose her. So let's see if we can just gun, even five inch gun hits, something. Although they're kind of separating. Can we go for, no, 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 just go for the closest one. If they're all running away, just go for the closest one. The one that's easiest to hit. We're looking for San Francisco hits. I saw one, maybe two, a few more. Ah, yes, now we're in good, now we're in business. All right, next, to Cleveland. Switch to the Cleveland. Cut across to the bow. Good. I mean to the stern. Okay, follow the stern. Follow the stern so you don't get torpedoed. Don't give him a good torpedo um, solution. Keep zigzagging. Keep zigzagging. Bring those rear guns to bear. We're going to need to bring those rear guns to bear. I think the front ones are out. There they are. Firing. Get those hits. We're getting them. Okay, zag, zag. Get those rear guns. A bit more. A little bit more. There it is. Good hits. Good job, Akai Hana no Okuma. All right, another one down. I think we're going to call it off there. That's satisfying to me. Satisfactory, even. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. It was already a goner anyway. So we're going to slow this down to six or something like that. Head generally in the same direction as the Asuroshi. And we'll call this battle to a close, and that'll also bring this episode to a close. So our first really big engagement, maybe, I can't even remember the last time we had a big engagement like that. So that was fantastic. Our ships performed really well. Um, we outnumbered them, but I think their biggest mistake was obviously just running at us kind of piecemeal. So, so we'll limp on out of here. Oops. Don't go too fast, Asuroshi. Maybe she'll reconverge with the fleet. Like, can she... Can you reattach yourself? What the hell are you doing? Reattach. Thank you. And we'll drop down to, like, four or something. Because <laughs> we still have to wait. Oh, we don't have to wait that long. Okay, fine. This should be enough to finish it off. Okay, so we had that one with medium damage. The rest were all light. We sank one Dreadnought, three battle cruisers. Nothing else was left. We ended up taking down six light cruisers, and the only ship lost, the only vessel, was the Honcho. I'd call that a very successful outing. The Montana, the Yorktown, the Lexington. Some big ship damages here. We'll have to see what happens to the Asuroshi, how she's, uh, if she's, like, interned or what happens. But that's like a huge, the Battle of Alaska, we'll just leave it at that. I don't think there's any qualifications I need to add. Just a fantastic, we'll probably bring everyone back for a turn now. Now that we're kind of starting to will down, this might be the better way of dealing with the Americans instead of launching a suicide raid on the Caribbean. <laughs> the 24 dreadnoughts, my God. Uh, the problem there is the same, almost it's worse than on the West Coast, which is already bad enough. That we, we are completely out of supply. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode. I hope that was enjoyable. That was a lot of fun for me, that fleet battle. And I think it was for... I think it would be for you guys as well. Uh, I don't know who were the captains in there. So, congrats to the ones who... Especially to the ones who torpedoed sinking ships. Who can pretend that they helped out. Congrats. Tip of the hat to you. <laughs> Otherwise, thanks for watching. And until the next one, take care.